What's up, my shiny tech friends? Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's show, I'm going to go ahead and flash the Asus AX1800 with Merlin firmware. Let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to say that if you do decide to do this yourself, that you must accept the full risk of doing this, in which case, if something goes wrong, it could end up costing you your router. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. So I just did a Google search for Merlin firmware for the RT-TAC AX56U. And we can see here the second entry is directly for the download. We can see the firmware version noted here and also for the unit. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on the main downloader link, and that will take me over to SourceForge. And now I'm going to just go ahead and search for the router. And as we see here, that is the folder that we want to go ahead and click on. And here there is both a stable release and a beta release. Now, if you want like the latest features and you don't care about stability, then beta is the way to go. But otherwise, if this is going to be your daily driver, then the standard release is probably the one that you want to select. Here we can see the latest version is from June 28th. I'll go ahead and click on that. Then I'm going to save the file, and after it's saved, I'm going to disconnect from Wi-Fi and then connect via Ethernet back to the router. And the whole point of that is so that when I am uploading the new firmware, that I don't end up causing an issue because I'm uploading it over wireless, and if something got corrupted that it couldn't detect, then it could go horribly, horribly wrong. So by having it directly connected over Ethernet, it ensures a stable and solid connection for the whole process. So now I'm going back to router.asus.com. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Then I'm going to click administration and then on firmware upgrade. Now I'm gonna go ahead and extract the zip file. Go inside that folder, copy the full path. And then under manual firmware update, click upload, then paste in the full path and select the file. Now we just hurry up and wait for it to upload and flash the latest firmware. So now I'm logged in with the Merlin firmware, and as you can see, it looks a little bit different, and that's because they add additional features to the original ASUS WRT firmware, and overall, in my opinion, make it a much better and more versatile product, while still maintaining a lot of the look and feel to the original system. Now it looks like it still kept the same settings as before, so now I'm going to go ahead and run another speed test as well as a file copy test and see if it makes any difference to the performance while running the Merlin firmware versus the original stock firmware. So that's it for today's video, and if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button if you're into that kind of thing, and if you didn't like this video, then go ahead and slap that dislike button twice so we know that you mean it. Now I've got something for the shiniest of my tech friends here on the channel today. So this here. This is a Supermicro motherboard with two Intel Xeon E5-2680 processors in it. Now I'm giving this away to viewers on my channel and I'm willing to pay shipping within the United States. If you're outside of the United States, as long as you help with the shipping or pick up the difference, then I don't mind sending it to you. Now something about this board, it is not a plug-and-go board. 
this was given to me by a buddy of mine and uh, it had some issues and he ended up just replacing it altogether. Uh, it could have been bad RAM, it could have been a bad processor, uh, or it could even be just a bad board. So if this is something that you could use and you have the additional hardware and technical abilities, i love to be able to send this out to you to be able to play with. And again, if this is something that you could actually use, go ahead and drop me an email in the subject. Go ahead and say, I like that shiny motherboard and send it to brad at shinytechthings.com. But before you do that, go ahead and slap that like button and click on subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to tell all of your friends and like-minded shiny tech people that you know about this channel.